Okay, we're now talking with the 2003 US Open champion, fourth time making a new world record. Peter, you seem to have won everything. Well, of course you won everything. <laughs> How do you motivate yourself? So you've been world champion, you've been world number one for 700 years, you've um, won the world championship and the British Open. How do you motivate yourself now? Well, I love playing squash. That's the bottom line. You and still I, like I still I love, no, I love playing squash. I don't like playing squash. I love playing squash. And in the last few events, I've played great squash, but I haven't been in physical enough, good enough shape mm. to win the event, which has been a bit frustrating because my game's improved, but I haven't actually been able to, to convert that to wins. Um, so I've done a little bit more physical work. And with that, um, it's given me a little bit of an edge that I needed to go on and win that. But um, just, I just enjoy playing squash. I still love competing. Mm. I love playing the game. I love everything about the travelling, the tournaments. Um, and I feel fortunate to still be playing at, at my age. <laughs> you still like all the travelling because a lot of people get finally tired of that. I actually enjoy it more now, I think, because I'm more settled with it. Um, and being in different places, I'm more, I can more relax around tournaments. I think I was always very much, I went to a tournament, I sat in my hotel room, I played, and it was all very much down to winning. Whereas I think now, I still want to win, obviously, but I do more things, I go and see the city, I, I go out and see the people, I actually do a little bit around the town. So I'm enjoying the venues a lot more than I used to, which helps. You, you said you weren't fit enough, was that because there weren't enough tournaments? No, it's because I didn't do enough work. The bottom line was I just didn't, I didn't do enough physical work. I had a few months where I took it a little bit easier um, and probably needed to mentally and physically just have a little bit of a break. And although I played events and played okay in some of the events, I, I wasn't quite physically fit enough and I just needed to do that. I, didn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't actually do the physical work that I needed to. But I've done it since and I feel great. If I look back at five years ago, I, I, I seem to feel, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, that it wasn't as fast and as skillful as it is now, the squash. I mean, everybody is attacking now. I mean, well, you said the top 10 to 15, they're all attacking. You know, the, the yeah. Boswells are coming through, the, the rickets, everybody's attacking. Is that, a, is that a true impression? Yeah, I think there were two people that really changed, well, two people that really changed it, but two people that actually five years ago were doing, that was Rodney Isles and Jan Chikan. They were the two that really took the ball in. Um, like Rodney maybe sometimes too much short. Um, Rodney Isles, Rodney, Rodney Isles, I didn't really play Rodney Martin, Rodney had already oh, finished, but, uh, Rodney, Rodney Isles, um, which is in my time, and Jancher, so the two of them took it in short and, and really attacked everything, whereas myself, Peter Marshall and a lot of the other guys sort of use their fitness and movement a lot bit more, but now you can't afford to do that, if you, do, if you just do that you will lose because the guys are good enough taking it in short that eventually they'll either run you around too much or eventually play a winner, so you've actually got to attack and I've been adapting my game over the last five years so I'm a lot more attacking and, take, and, and able to take the ball in short and, and dece deception and everything else. I mean, yeah, you've, you are much, much more uh, dangerous now at the front on both sides of the racket now. It must have taken a lot of work. It has, yeah. A lot of thought, a lot of time, a lot of effort. It's taken years, it's taken two, three years to really start starting to get it implemented into my game. But that's how long it does take. Um, and I was prepared for that. But it's great, that it's, it's, it's great that it's happening because I, what it means is then I'm really enjoying the improvement in my game as well. So it gives me the impetus to carry on training, carry on playing because I think if I'd still be playing that I, like I was playing five years ago, I don't think I'd enjoy playing. It'd be too hard mm. because it, it was very much a physical, physical, physical battle. Whereas now um, I'm able to finish games off, matches off and by playing a lot more winners. I know this is a silly question, but do, how do you think Jahangir Khan would have... Um, dealt with the players today. Would he have dealt with it? Of course he would have, yeah. I think you, you, almost any player who's been at the top of the world and someone like Jahangir who was so dominant, he would have adapted his game and become the player he needed to be with the new technology, with the, with the fitness, um, the sports science and everything else and would have been just as good as he was, I think, but in a different way because people who are able to do that are able to do that in any, any time, I think. Interesting. Peter, thanks very much. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you in uh, Nottingham two weeks. Yeah, great. Look forward to it. Thank, Thank you. you.